Obviously, Chelsea, the owners, the directors, and the manager too, they all want results as soon as possible. Pochettino keeps repeating also that. It's not just about the long-term project, but also about the winning mentality. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here. Welcome back to the channel, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Mauricio Pochettino situation at Chelsea, but also something else on managers, including Xabi Alonso, Roberto De Zerbi. Let's jump into it together. <music> Here we are to discuss the situation of some managers, to clarify the situation of some managers, because after the very bad and disappointing game of Chelsea against Newcastle, I received many questions again on the future and on the position of Mauricio Pochettino. But guys, the feedback I'm getting on Chelsea's side is still the same. Chelsea trusts Mauricio Pochettino. Chelsea decided to go for Mauricio Pochettino because they believe he's the right man for this project. They know it's going to take time. This is something that Pochettino is always repeating in public, but also in private, in his conversations with people at the club. And so it's a young team. They need some time. Obviously, Chelsea, the owners, the directors, and the manager too, they all want results as soon as possible. Pochettino keeps repeating also that. It's not just about the long-term project, but also about the winning mentality. Chelsea is about winning trophies, Pochettino always says, and so that's the mission, but also it takes some time. So despite the bad performance against Newcastle, Pochettino said it was the most disappointing in uh, this season under the Spanish manager, from what I'm told, nothing has changed in Chelsea ideas with Mauricio Pochettino. He's not at risk at this point. They still trust him. They still believe he's the right man for this project. And so no changes at all. Keep trusting the manager. And that's the direction uh, of the club, including owners, directors, all together, obviously waiting for results as soon as possible, positive results, and also to see the squad performing in different way, being more focused. They're not so happy with this card situation, always the same mistakes. So they want to see some improvement on this kind of, of things. And not only when they play Man City or Arsenal or Tottenham, they want to see that kind of level in every single game. But this is part of having a young team. So that's the message that I'm getting on Chelsea side. Also important to say, guys, about the future of two more managers. Many questions always on Roberto De Zerbi, who is doing a great job at Brighton, but guys, the release clause of Roberto De Zerbi, 13 million euros, around 13 million euros, is not valid now. So for any club, it's not possible to trigger that clause now. The only chance is in the summer, not now. And also De Zerbi is really focused on Brighton project. So nothing ongoing there, and the clause is not like Potter one which was valid during the season. And that's how Chelsea appointed Graham Potter. In this case, for the Zerbi, is only valid in the summer. And also many questions on Xabi Alonso, because, guys, if you look at the numbers of Bayer Leverkusen, uh, if I remember well, it's like 62 goals scored and 14 goals conceded. They won almost all the games of this season, just one uh, draw. And so what they're doing is really special. Top of the group in Europa League, top of the Bundesliga table, keep going, playing fantastic football, the fullback scoring goals like strikers, Frimpong and Grimaldo. So what they're doing is unbelievable. Xavi Alonso is a fantastic manager. So it's normal for many clubs to keep an eye on him. But from what I'm told, there is no proper release clause, no official release clause in the contract of Xavi Alonso at Bayer Leverkusen. There is just kind of gentleman agreement between Xavi Alonso and Bayer Leverkusen board as he was in the list of some clubs last summer and they told him, this summer you are staying, we extend your contract, but in the future, in case you want to go to a super top club, we will be open to let you decide. And that's the point. Xavi Alonso will be the one with the final decision on his future in the summer, but there is no formal release clause. So it's about convincing Xabi Alonso and not about going and paying formal release clause to Bayer Leverkusen. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Xabi Alonso, Roberto De Zerbi, Mauricio Pochettino. I wait for your opinion. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.